coding. What's up, everybody? And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning on how to shoot bullets. Now, this is going to be an extremely simplified way on how to do it. Now, the reason why I say this is that we could build a whole class around bullets. Basically, we could say that uh, the the class could implement like which bullets you have, the power of each bullets, and and so on and so forth. But um, I'm although it would be a, a a cool thing or a good thing to implement the bullet class, I will just show you the basics of actually getting a bullet to display on the screen, and then you guys can develop a bullet class around that functionality. The reason why I don't want to make a bullet class uh, myself is that there's a lot of different effects you guys want with it, a lot of custom made things you want, and I can address all that, all of those things. So if I show you basic, uh, a basic way on how to handle it, then you guys can configure it the way that you would like to do it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just make an image for the bullet. I've just made a small square. I don't know why it looks like demented like that. Uh, uh, what I've made, you guys can't even really see that, but I've made a, a really small square that, yeah, a really a really small square that will that will be used as my bullets. And what we are going to do is we're going to go to our player class and we're just gonna make a list of vector twos, okay? And we can just call this bullets and what we're gonna do is create something called bullet speed and we could just set this to like 400f or something like that so in here we'll just set bullets equal to a new list now we want to create a texture 2d to load the bullets uh, image I, then again, if you have multiple bullet uh, bullet images, then you can store this in the list or whatever. But for now, in this tutorial, there's only one bullet that we have. So, I'll say bullet image is equal to content dot load texture 2D and a minus called bullet. So, simple enough. So, we, we've got that set. So now what we're going to do is in the update section, whenever they press a key, so it could be any key that you would like them to press, I'll say if they key down, if they press the Z key, then they're going to shoot a bullet. Now what's going to happen is we're going to add, we're going to say bullets dot add, and we'll add a new vector two, and the vector, no, actually the vector two we'll add in is the current player's position. Now, um, now we're gonna say that this is a, this is the thing. Now, if our we we have to in order to to move the bullet in in a certain direction, we have to uh, we have to get the direction the player is facing and all that stuff. And this is why a bullet class would benefit it. So, example, when we add one to the bullet, we could specify the direction the bullet is facing and so on and so forth rather than just a position but I'm leaving that functionality to you right now okay I'm leaving that to you so we're gonna be assuming right now that the player is facing right okay so the bullets are gonna move towards the right of the screen now it's up to you to implement it so that uh, based on the player's direction the bullet will move in the player's direction and I know you guys probably don't like this now but I want to challenge you guys you know what I mean I want you guys to be able to implement your own functionality rather than just copying code right once once you're done this once you're done the code you can fully say this is my code i implemented this i implemented that right i don't want to do everything for you so it's it's working your brain and if you ever need help you can always ask on my forum anyways so we're just assuming that the players is facing right when they shoot the bullets okay uh just to just to get that out there so what we're going to do now is we're just going to loop through the bullets and we're going to say bullets.count and we'll say floats x is equal to bullets uh bullets i dot x 
and we will say that x plus equals and we'll say bullet speed times float game time elapsed game time total seconds and bullets i dot x will be or bullets i will be equal to new vector 2 and we'll put x in there and we'll put bullets i dot y okay so that should set the bullets position now what we're going to do now in the drop in the draw section is we'll loop through each one of the bullets we can use a for each statement if you like and we will draw the bullet image and we'll set the bullets position bullets i dot or just bullets i is the position and we'll get the color so that is uh, that is simple enough so once we press the z key what it will do is that it will move it towards the right and then after um it will display it now what we uh so when we press this oh sorry I just gotta remove this oh never mind okay whatever so right here when we press the z key as you can see uh, based on the player's position that we set it, our bullets are flying in a certain direction. Okay, so we can do that um, like so. But one thing that I also challenge you to do is this. As we increasingly press the Z key, we're continuously making bullets. But the problem is we're not destroying them when they get off the screen right we don't want to display bullets when we don't need to display them why do we need to keep on updating them when they have left the screen and so that is another challenge for you guys to look forward to as well so make it so that when the when the bullet leaves the screen then uh then the bullet actually dies now uh as for bullet collision as well it is handled we can handle it uh, j basically by bounding boss collision. So in your in your bullet class, what you could do is take in uh, the enemies or the en the entity or whatever it is. We can get all the enemies' positions. We check if a bullet has interacted with an enemy. If it has, then you can decide if you lower the enemy's health or if the enemy dies or whatever happens to the enemy. Uh, so. This was uh, a pretty brief tutorial, pretty basic on how to get bullet shooting in your uh, in this tutorial. And if if it's a bit too vague for you guys, or you guys want me elabor to elaborate more, then I I would be more than happy to. But I kind of want to leave it like this to challenge you guys as programmers, or else you guys won't get much better. So, anyways, I'm ending this off here. That is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And do not forget to sign up on my website. Also, please donate towards a new mic as I will need one when I'm going to school in in September. Uh, more information for that, I, ha I made a video called Please Donate. So, you can watch that video for more information. So, thanks and bye for now.